Okay, okay, okay. We're here. We're back. It's Thursday. It's three for the money. New episodes every Thursday. I messed up the intro a little bit. A little bit. You're but covered. It's o- but it's okay. <laughs> but it's okay because we're here and we're back. We're here and we're back. We're here and we're back, and I'll say it till we die. Um, <laughs> the finals are set for the NBA and the NHL. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. Super, like... NBA starts Friday, NHL starts Saturday, unless those are reversed. I can't remember. No, uh, NBA, NBA starts, starts tomorrow. Tomorrow, or the first. Starts, it starts Thursday. It starts June 1st. And the NHL starts Sunday. Oh. oh, I thought it was Saturday. Thir- the third. It starts on Sunday? Yeah. I thought one of them started on Saturday. You know what? Whatever. It doesn't matter. It, I don't want to wait till Sunday. It's the third, whatever hockey. it is. I mean, that that's is Saturday. Su- that's Saturday. It is Saturday. Okay. So. That's still a long okay. time. But. I, th- I I thought it was uh, offset days where we get There's hockey suppo- one day and the I next think day we, basketball. I don't know about next, next day because I know NBA takes a few days in between and NHL for the most part is either every other day or like tra- you'll have one travel day in. I think NBA well, is I think, normally like three days in between. Well, now – Which is dumb. Do the Heat and – no, they don't play at the same place, right? Do the Heat uh, and the Panthers play at the same place? Mind. No, because no, the Panthers play at Lauderdale. Play they play in Sunrise. The the Panthers arena is like after like a bank or something, isn't it? Like BB or SunTrust? Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, true. No. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But Maybe we should have looked this up. <laughs> they play in Sunrise. They don't play in the same arena because yeah. I know uh, my the Heat's arena is called American Airlines, and I know that's, that's not the name okay. of yeah. the Panthers. That's the Dallas arena. In yeah, the NHL. yeah, American Airlines Center. That's yeah. that's the Dallas one. That's Dallas, one of those Dallas and the maps. maybe I was oh, wrong. Shit, <laughs> time out. We got to figure this out. Wait, we're not a geography podcast. <laughs> this isn't. I don't <laughs> think sponsorship. That, I don't <laughs> think that Heat and Panthers play in the same arena. Uh, that name is wrong because yeah, American Airlines is where the Stars play. Because the Panthers claim Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> no, no, they don't. No, they don't. They don't claim they Fort don't. Lauderdale. They don't play in the same arena. Or both. It, it, both. Okay. <laughs> I thought they were in Lauderdale. No, MTL they're in. They're in. Oh wait. Small town just west of Fort Lauderdale, just north of Miami. So like. Sunrise. No, <laughs> but, no but like Sunrise is like. A twenty-minute drive from Miami. Yeah, it's like and like La- if Lauderdale you, and Miami are not very far. Where the Dolphins play at Hard Rock, I know that for a fact. Hard Rock Stadium. Yes. Um, it's literally like fifteen minutes away. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. I know that Fort Lauderdale is like half an hour away from Miami. Well, dang. It's almost like not even I a different Fort, city. Fort Lauderdale was like. On the other side, I, was th- no, I thought no, it was no. a golf. I thought it was a golf city. No, people save money flying into Fort Lauderdale. That makes sense on their Miami trip. That makes sense. So that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, it does. <laughs> that was just a Jesus. theory. That was just a theory I had on, <laughs> on why the games are like delayed a little bit. Yeah. Well, like for I know that neither team are playing have home court home ice advantage, but it would make sense that it yeah. would be offset a little bit because of that. But, yeah, I digress. So. <laughs> yeah, Whatever. well, the matchups are set in the NHL. We have the Vegas Golden Knights, and we have the Florida Panthers. And then in the NBA, it's Miami Heat and Denver Nuggets. And I don't know. I'm not as as excited for the NHL one, but – at the same time, it's a new, it's a new team getting one, a Stanley Cup. One team will get there first. Yeah. Yes. And that's that's big. That's, that's huge. That's nice. That's it's, huge. Yeah. Um, so I was looking at like the past three Eastern Conference teams. Mm-hmm. They're all the Tampa Bay Lightning, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. But I, w- I did want to bring up something because two of them were the bubble. Yes. And the other was the shortened season. Yes. Shortened then, season. The shortened season. Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 The Fifty-six yeah. game yeah. season. Mm-hmm. 
and then they they go to the Cup final last year and lose to the Avs. Mm -hmm. So, frauds. Yes. Who? The Lightning. <laughs> we have to put it, we have to put an asterisk. On it. We can't we can't say LeBron is Mickey Mouse. But yeah, I know. Gone. Yeah, we have, that was, you have to put an asterisk. That on. was the point I was also going to. They're make. not fraud. I will say they're not frauds yeah. because they won back to back. They yeah. did go two in a row, but they but had they stipulations. Do, yes, that's yeah. why I say. So there, I think their two cups are actually should just be one, one. cup. I get. I can. Yeah. I can be on that. Yeah, that's why I say asterisks yeah. instead of just doesn't count. Yeah. What about like more than one, but less than two? One and a half. half yeah, like a one cup. and a half. <laughs> half a cup. Because I mean, they did no. it twice. Yeah. They, you they, kind they of, yeah. You take, they, the, you take the median of both numbers. Yeah. They played who they had to play <laughs> in order to win. And that, those were the best teams. Except for in the bubble when they had to play uh, the Canadians. No, wait. That was no, the that was the, that that was was the shortened short. season. Yeah. They, they whomped them. Yeah. They took a dump on them. All over their chest. Yeah, they did. Canadians have never been the same since. No. <laughs> they, 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 they continued being terrible, <laughs> yeah. except for that one outlier of a year. Yeah. <laughs> but both South Florida teams, eight seeds. It's kind of wild. Know, just kind of wild. I mean, <laughs> no NBA team has ever won as an eight seed. I don't think the NHL has either. Didn't the I, Kings I win as an Kings. eight seed? Yeah, right, Kings. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I forgot what year that was. Okay, so that was like 2014. Yeah. That was in between one of the Blackhawks ones. And where they played others. the Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. And Martinez scored in double overtime. Yeah, yeah. that's because I remember uh, Henrik tried to go across with his pad and mm -hmm. just yeah. Couldn't. Yeah, I know. It was wild. Yeah. That's an all-time video, though. Uh -huh. that, oh, it was mm -hmm. incredible. Overtime, it, Stanley that Cup winner. That series was incredible. Yeah. That, also, at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seeing a Stanley Cup being, like, lifted, like, at home is, like, it's so incredible to watch. Yeah. Because it's, it's the fans. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. But as a player, you got to think that you wouldn't give a shit where you lifted it. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you, you just want to get there, get it done, and Go celebrate on. after. Yeah. All right, well, that was a pretty long intro. How are we doing, boys? How are we doing since the last time we met, Chris? I'm doing great. Yeah. Going on a little bit of a heater. I, I see your Twitter. Yeah. I've, this, I've had winning days five days in a row. Um, six or five of the last seven, I think. So, or six of the last eight, excuse me. Um, so, yeah, doing pretty good. Doing very average today, but still three bets left. Anything can happen. That's baseball. But yeah. I mean, I don't – came out of nowhere because I was doing terrible. <laughs> and then just, like, the first two days, I think I went, like, like 14 and 3. <laughs> and it just, like, pretty much saved my month. And it was insane. And I don't know. It's, it's not been that good, but I'm still – in the green, but today, well, I don't know. As long as I can, if I can win one of these last three, I, that wouldn't be winning, but I'll, I'll live. What do you have right now? At time of recording, I, the games that are live, I have Blue Jays, uh, Brewers over nine or over ten. They're at three in the fifth. That's not good. Um, and then I've got Phillies Mets under nine. They are at. They, I think they're at five. I don't remember what inning. They're at five in the sixth. So, eh. and then I got Mariners money line later tonight. So Who are they playing? The Yankees. Okay. I saw a lot of people were on the Mariners today. <laughs> the Yankees pitcher that's going tonight isn't very good. Yeah. I don't like that though because because I had the Rangers minus one and a half, a noon game today, and then I had. Something else. Rays. Oh, that ended up winning. That was a sweat, though. But I had Rangers minus one and a half, which I saw on various social medias that a lot of people were on. Mm -hmm. And then that they lost outright. Yep. So, as soon as I saw, like, I tweeted that, and I was scrolling through Twitter. In the next, like, 30 minutes, I saw, like, four people being like, Rangers minus one and a half. Like, Damn. <laughs> 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 I, I kind of wanted to just cash out, but about that life. Uh, speaking of cashing out, 
I cashed out of my Celtics uh, outright winner of the NBA championship bet. Mm-hmm. And you got do my that? money back. When 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 did you do that? Well, when they were when they were down three one. Oh oh yeah. So you didn't even. That could have been. You could probably could have made money. I well, like I still had to go through another round, and yeah, but I if you waited two more games, you probably could. Yeah, I probably could have. Yeah, yeah, made more money cashing out, but I wouldn't have. You know. But so you got all of it back. I got all of it back. So it's like and half. like a little bit of change. Okay. So so you came out ahead. Yeah, yeah. came out ahead. Well, we talk. Yeah. Yeah, that's future. Congratulations on your on <laughs> Thank your future you. win. Thank yeah, you. That's Thank a great you. future win. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, I never cash out really, mm-hmm. but I was like, I gotta, I gotta get my money back. When it's either cash out or hope history happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I get it then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was kind of hoping history. I, I had already done it, but I was like, I was still kind of like, I hope they can do it like you know Mm -hmm. i kind of was but i was like god this heat team is so fun to watch Mm -hmm. you Mm -hmm. know like like an eight seed just first play in team to ever make the nba finals dog in them like jimmy g buckets it's just like it's incredible Mm -hmm. i was thinking that too like the same thing like i wanted to sell i wanted to see history but i like the heat and also boston doesn't deserve another just like coming back from the dead moment. Yeah. yeah. They already have two. Like, fuck them. If it was like the Spurs or fucking like any other team, yeah. I would have been rooting for them. All I want to hold on to that thought, but I want to see how Will's doing first. Okay. Will, how are you doing? So I'm doing pretty okay. Good. Um, I haven't really been betting all that much. Um, nothing new on that front. Um, uh, my girl had foot surgery last week. So <laughs> that's kind of what I've been pretty busy on. So, I haven't had a lot of time, but I have been keeping up with the games. Um, I did catch, like, the last quarter of Game 7 of the Celtics Heat, and, you know, I turned it on, and it was – it's like I didn't need to turn it on. No, you didn't. That game (laughs) sucked, man. It did. That was the first NBA game in a while I've watched, like, tip off to final whistle, and it sucked. Yeah. (laughs) And I there's like the Celtics went on like a little bit of run in the third quarter. It was like, hey, but other than that, the Heat just dominated. I had it on in the background while I was doing stuff um, in my room, but like I was just like I would just like glance at it and I'd be like, oh well, the Heat are just yeah. dominating, and it's just like they're like, up by twenty, and, would, and it kind of stayed that way yeah. for a while. Mm-hmm. I do want Spolstra to get a ring without LeBron and Wade, yeah. so I, I am rooting for they're not going to win. But I am rooting for the Heat. Yeah. And so, but yeah, just watching, I was like, I wanted the Heat to win, but I wanted like some, some, some theatrics. Mm-hmm. Like that was the lamest Scott Foster officiated game I've ever seen. And um, like they called him in. What's to, the other like, guy? Uh, Tony Brothers. Yeah. They called both of them in. Just like, all right. Yeah, the NBA let's get was some like, magic. <laughs> like, nope, Heat are just gonna win by like twenty. Let's rig it. <laughs> yeah. The NBA literally said, "Let's rig it." Yeah. And the Heat said. Nah. Yeah. I I was thinking about, like, taking the Celtics just because of that. And then I was like, this is too trappy. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to – I'm not going to be able to watch most of it anyway. I'm just going to – I'm just going to stay away. Yeah. That was, like, one of the first games, just any game, that I've watched without having any, like, money on. Like just watch mm-hmm. as a fan. Yeah. Like in a well, like long you time. you were like you were hoping for like, history was going to be made yeah. either way. So like I, you didn't really need that, but I don't know. I wanted yeah. like I was sitting there. I was like, I don't have any money on this game, and I'm like into it. And yeah. And like and it was like eh, I'm out of it. Yeah. And I was like, and then it was like, all right, I'm just gonna <laughs> mess around on my phone and have it on in the background. Let's see what Solitaire's up to. <laughs> a little bejeweled action. <laughs> I was going to say something about um, – God dang it. What was I going to say? It's twice. Yeah, I know. It'll come to me. Yeah. I'm 47 <laughs> years old. What do you expect? What do you expect? Ever since your 58th birthday. <laughs> so I haven't been the same. All right, well, I think that this is a perfect time to transition into what we think about this NBA Finals. 
So let's see. Do you think that the Denver Nuggets, like the X factor for them, is the altitude? It's a good question. Yes. In a not serious answer, yes, 100%. Okay. And then I was going to give a stupid – I was going to make a stupid joke, but I don't want to do it anymore. Please. I don't want to do it. All right. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it was uh, Nikola Jokic's altitude because he's got like a foot on every player on the Heat roster. Yeah, he's ah. like feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> like their biggest player is Bam, and he's not big. He's tall. But he's not big. But he's not big. Yeah. yeah. So – not a I, big guy. I mean, Jokic might—he might have a triple double every night. Yikes! This like, is, who's going to like? It's who's literally going just to stop who's him? going to stop him. Yeah. And if like you put like three guys on him, they just kick it out to Murray or Porter Jr. or Gordon, who's like s- suddenly come alive. I mean, I, I'm rooting for the Heat, but damn, <laughs> I, I'm rooting for the Nuggets. Like, I don't. That, like finals matchups are just so weird. Like championship matchups, like sometimes it's the obvious choice and sometimes it isn't. And it's just it's sometimes it's incredibly hard to get a read on it. But I will it, not be oh god, sorry. It's, I thought you're done. That that factor of like they're playing in Denver, the altitude is gonna have an effect. Not like a huge effect what? No, no, continue. Continue, okay. <laughs> continue your point, and then I want to counter. Okay. <laughs> um, the altitude is – it's not its not the X factor. That was more of a joke. But I think it, it definitely is a factor. It, it's just – you're right. Who is going to stop him? They don't have – like Jimmy Butler. I mean, he's not great. On he's going to run him over. Him. Yeah, it's like – <laughs> like I don't, <laughs> who 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 can stop him? Nobody. Like they just, like they they, ha- <laughs> they have to pray that he has a bad night. Even if he has a bad night, that's a double double. Yeah, what? a bad night is double double. Ring. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ring. Um, you said the altitude being the X factor. What about the heat? Not the basketball team. The physical heat in Miami. It's probably really hot there. It's so hot there. Yeah, they play in Denver. They're not used to that. <laughs> Just saying. From Sunshine State putting to my, Sunshine put, State, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting on my Mike Greenberg hat here. Like, it's hot there. They play inside. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Walking around outside, it's hot. Heat travels. <laughs> <laughs> travels. <laughs> yeah. It travels. That's a good. <laughs> you should put the heat spread every road game and just heat travels. <laughs> <laughs> They're bringing that Miami sun with them. <laughs> All right. What do we? What are your predictions for the series? Blank. Or I assume you're going Nuggets. Nuggets and how many games? Six. Six. I feel like plus seven fifty on the action twenty four seven sportsbook. Right. Plus seven. I looked it up earlier. Wow. I think it's the best value. What is? What's like? The the most favorited the one. Nuggets, nuggets four and, and one. Yeah, Nuggets and five plus two forty. Damn. That's yeah. a big jump. Yeah. From from one game. The the second most is Nuggets and seven, surprisingly, at three twenty five. <laughs> yeah, that's kinda wild. Makes no sense. <laughs> makes no but sense. Yeah. In a way it does make sense because it's like they're either gonna win in five or it's like the heat. I mean they got the dog in them. Yeah. 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 It's just you can't you can't just count out the Heat just because they're just playing so well and they're coached so well. Like, it's – like, they're going to yeah, find – That's why I said six. I think six is a mm-hmm. good – I think two wins that's, for the Heat is adequate. I think it's great. I think it's you made strides. Yeah. And you, either way, the Heat are going to come out as one of the top free agency markets this summer. They have to. Yeah. They have to, like, spend a shit ton of money. I can't imagine they're paying anybody that much money. Other it's than like Jimmy, Jimmy and Bam. Bam. And, like, Kevin Love's getting, like, $4 million. Something Speaking like of Kevin Love. Addicted to finals. Addicted to finals. <laughs> Have you seen that? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Dick can't. Addicted. Posted can't by the Action enough. 24-7 Sportsbook <laughs> on Instagram. Five <laughs> playoffs appearances. Mm-hmm. Five finals appearances. 
every time this man has been in the playoffs, he has been to the finals. He's got. He's got we, one ring. One ring? <laughs> only yeah. one? The Cavs yeah. only won one? I guess. He, he won one with him. Hmm? He was I on think. that team the whole time. He was the last player from that. I'm pretty sure he only has on one. Team. I thought he had two. I thought the Cavs won two. Kevin I, Love? I don't even know. Jeez. I just know Maybe there was like I a know. six year. Yeah, I mean, they were all the same for like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like. It was just the decade, Warriors and the so. Cavs. And so. Kevin, Lem- well, Kevin Love has won one championship hmm. in his career. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. I thought they had. Um, it's kind of wild. I agree, but it's not only that. Why it's? I mean, where did that he play was before the Timberwolves, and they were trash. But well, yeah, they're, they're always trash. If they never made the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. If if they would have made, the made the playoffs, if they if they would have made the playoffs, <laughs> they would have made, made the, the finals. finals. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he is the catalyst. Spot to lie. <laughs> he is the, he is the catalyst to his teams making the finals. Yeah. He has to be. He's the common denominator. You can't argue with math. <laughs> You'll lose that battle. You'll lose that battle 100 times out of 100. Kevin Love should be the highest paid free agent in this offseason. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just just bring him in. Yeah, just bring him in. Just bring him <laughs> just in. Just, just go be get like him. Udonis has him. Just put him at the end of the bench. Hey, he's on the team. We just got to make it in, man. <laughs> and we're all the way. We are golden. <laughs> we are guaranteed a final spot. And what want, you do with that spot is up to you. I love Sweeney Donis Haslam. I love that man. Yeah. I Why? Love, because he's just some old guy hanging around. <laughs> he's like <laughs> an old coot. Just win, <laughs> let's just win a ring, man. He spent his entire basketball career has been played in the state of Florida. Yeah. He's from Florida. He went to Florida. And he played for the Heat his entire career. He's played for the Heat oh. his entire career. Yeah. Homeboy. So, I – Go out with a ring. Well, he has a few. Hasn't but, he not yeah. played a minute or something? He played like this season. He hasn't played a lot. He played game the well, no and like oh, his in the, play in the playoffs. He hasn't played like oh a probably home, not for he a hasn't while. played a minute. Oh, this, he's played. I don't think he's played in the playoffs for several years. <laughs> <laughs> May not several. Yeah, I but saw a that, while. <laughs> like he's had like five or six fi- or so five or six playoff appearances and hasn't played a single minute. Yeah, that wouldn't. Yeah, that sounds like that. <laughs> that's crazy. He's an old man. <laughs> um, but I'll, but I'll, let's shift to the West. Well, I just want to say one thing okay. before we stop talking about the finals. No, we're not. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna. I have something else. Well, to I'm add. just gonna say, I'm, I, game one, I'm taking over two nineteen and a half, just because I think the only way that Heat can beat the Nuggets is to outscore them. I think Usually, if you score more you points know what I mean. than the other opponent, jackass, you, <laughs> you know what I mean. You can't stop them. You can only hope to contain them. I don't talk about what I mean. <laughs> you know, you set me up. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I had to. I can't wait till you say something stupid. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yes, you are. Uh, anyway, I'm taking over two nights. I have nothing but facts on this podcast. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, I'm what sorry. You gonna, no, you're not. What are you going to say? Well, like. <laughs> what are you going to say? I saw a stat today that if the Nuggets win the, um, the finals, they will be the first team not from California or Texas to win the NBA championship since 1979. Whoa. From the West? From the West, yep. Uh, you have to I think. Mean, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. You have to think. Half of the teams in the West are, are in yeah. California <laughs> and Texas. I'll say the Suns have never won one. The Suns don't have one. The, the Grizzlies Blazers don't. don't. Grizzlies don't. Grizzlies don't. The Trailblazers don't have one. Uh, at least not jazz since. Jazz don't. Jazz don't. Well, no, they no. didn't win. Not since 1979. Because they played the Bulls. you got to think. Who won in 79? It's funny enough, they're not even in the league anymore. Who is it? The Seattle Supersonics. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That's wild. <laughs> so the Denver Nuggets could break a 42-year NBA streak. That's crazy. I have never thought of that. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I know that's that, like a specific stat, but. Because of those 42 years, the Lakers have 10. Right. Uh, the Warriors have four. Right. And uh, like, Mavericks have one. The Spurs have Spurs like five. Spurs have five. Spurs have five. Um, Clippers don't have any. Clippers don't have any. No. Um, Sacramento, Kings? Sacramento has they have none. Shit, they have none. Right. Yeah, I was, I didn't know. I maybe think that's I was it. like, maybe I back in the eighties, maybe that they does, had like that math doesn't make sense. I mean, the East has already, I mean, been pretty stacked. Oh yeah, that's right. Because there's been twenty, there's either twenty or twenty two championships from the West since that time. Yeah. In those forty two years. Yeah. It's a. That's that's a it's crazy a crazy stat, stat, but also you have to think you're only leaving out like four four of or teams. five teams. Yeah. But Nuggets could be the first one. Houston. In, oh, Houston. Yeah. Correct. Oh yeah, they got yes. one. I think that's. I it. think they've got a couple. I think they got two. I think Houston has two. I know that they had two one the off year that Jordan had. Yeah. That's when. That's when Elijah one got his ring. Um, but I, and then you know, Jordan repeated again. So I don't think. I think that's it. Yeah, that's um. It's a crazy stat. That is a crazy stat. It is. So. History will be made. Mm-hmm. Either way. Mm-hmm. And. That's all you want. But. Nuggets and six. Yeah, that's a pretty good bet. I think. Yeah, yeah. I, might I think that. that's that's respectable enough to the Heat. It's like they're like the Nuggets aren't whomping them, because the Heat aren't going to get whomped. No, they're not. I don't think they're. They're gonna get they're, whomped. they're a great team. They're a great coach team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, Nuggets and six. <laughs> yeah, that's, I think that's a good bet. That, that's a good bet. Plus seven fifty. That's that's a great bet. Well, I guess that's the NBA Finals. What do we do? We have any strong opinions either way on the NHL Finals? I mean, uh, I'm rooting for the Panthers. I really don't like this Finals. I don't yeah. either. I mean, I'm I'm gonna watch it. I guess it's. I guess it's just like ugh. to me. I think everyone's gonna be betting on the Panthers just because they are the underdog in this series, and they've they've only lost. Like one game in the past, like two series. Yeah, that's which is kind of wild, um, but they've lost a total of five games. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's <laughs> that, that is insane. Makes that's, no it, that, sense. it makes no sense. It makes, it makes no sense. It's it's incredible. No wait. Yeah, no, no, that's right. Four games. They've lost four games. Yeah, because they swept yeah. and they, then they, they yeah. swept. They lost yeah. one to the Leafs and then they lost three to the Bruins. Yeah. Four games. Yeah. White hot. Yeah. They're super white lava I, hot. I would really like the Panthers to win, honestly, just because I know the Knights are good. I know they have a good team. I know they've made the playoffs. A, is it five out of the six times? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something like, like that. They're, they're only a great, once. They're a great team. They're just they don't they don't understand. Fans don't. They don't understand. Yeah, you fans don't understand the heartbreak. You don't understand it. The, I hate this so much. And it's like, yeah, you've lost. You haven't won a cup yet. Congratulations. President like, go to the playoffs for like ten years. Like it's like, not even just pres specific. Like look at all these expansion teams historically, like across sports up until Vegas, have been dog shit yeah. for years. And now the Vegas just gets to waltz in and cherry pick great players and just go to. And now they're a hot market because they're good, and they get all these great players. I cannot wait until they're bad because it will happen. It happens to. It will happen yeah. because they're gonna get screwed. Yeah. On their cap eventually. It happens to every team. I cannot wait until they're terrible for five years. Yeah. And just I want to see how big that market is after. I mean, it's Vegas, and it's something to do in Vegas before yeah. you go gamble. So it'll always be a decent market. But yeah. people will always be there. Yeah. Yeah. But I just oh, I can't wait. It's a great travel destination. It is. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, like it's it's like right on the strip. 
Yeah, and it's like a, it's just something to do because the games are over at like ten. Yeah, and then you just go out. I, I think it's perfect. Um, hold on, just switching, just for a brief moment. Did y'all see the projected uh, mock-ups for the new A's stadium? Yeah, it looks in Vegas. Dope. No, that looks sick. It's got like the MGM Grand in the background. They're tearing down the, or they're they're projected. I don't think the deal is done yet i think that they are they bought that land yeah but they have not said like we are moving yeah um they've done they're gonna tear down they're gonna tear down the tropicana and build it right across the street from like the excalibur and like Mm -hmm. uh the mgm grand like behind the mgm grand Mm -hmm. yeah like you can see it like here i'll pull up a oh wait i got it okay you have it you can see it from like at least from the pictures they have made. Yeah, you can see it from Wild wow. Hark. And we'll put the, can you put this on the screen? I can do that. Okay. Sick. We'll put that on the screen, too. Cause. It looks sick. I feel so bad for A's fans. Man, you can't. Another team from Oakland moving to L- Las Vegas? So, <laughs> the Oakland <laughs> went from four major sports teams to zero. or One, I guess. Well, three, Do you, do I you guess, count Golden know. State? Yeah, because it was in Oakland. Oh. And it moved to San Francisco. Like, they, well, they like isn't the, that like an hour or like it's just 20 across minutes the bay? Yeah, but like, like they, st- it's still not in Oakland. Oh, <laughs> it moved to another major market in San Francisco. Well, maybe Oakland needs to be like Detroit and get their shit together and come on the up. I mean, I don't remember why the Raiders moved. I just assumed it's because the Davis family is crazy. I thought because they wanted a new stadium. And oh, and that's. Wanted, yeah. So yeah, they and that's exactly why the A's are moving. So just give you know, fucking stadium. It's not that hard to do. Like I know. I mean, I'm no politician, but like, shit, man. Well, I mean, <laughs> I know it's Oakland. I'm gonna say still. this: like, if your city's not safe, people aren't gonna want to go there. Yeah. To like the Chicago. I mean, the White Sox do not draw huge crowds these days. But I mean, they're in the south side of Chicago. <laughs> I, under, I the understand most that dangerous place in the country. <laughs> but when you when you have a team like, like in well, especially with the NFL, where you can just like, there's a mode in Madden where you can just be like, I want to move. You know, like <laughs> the NFL is just like, yeah, you can move if you want. It's wild. I just I just feel bad for A's fans. Yeah, they've just been there for so long. Like their team, and they're gonna. I mean, <laughs> I think the A's have to like their deal with that stadium is through twenty twenty seven. So they're like, if they move, it ain't happening for. A, obviously, they have to build the stadium, but they ain't happening for a long time. Hmm. And that team is arguably they are on pace to be the worst team in the history of baseball. Do you know how long baseball has been played? Like a million years. Since the fucking eighteen hundreds. <laughs> they could be the worst team to ever play Since before the major the car. league baseball. Yes. <laughs> People had to ride horses to baseball, to baseball games. games. That's crazy to me. But yeah. Well, <laughs> That's just, crazy when you think about it. They just took two of three from the from the Braves. So mm. That's <laughs> wild. I know that Oakland uh, used to have a hockey team. The, the, Gold, Cal- the Golden Seals the Golden or Seals. whatever. Yeah. 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 Golden State Seals. And they, they had white skates. Ew. That's baller. Just be S- different. Some, some people liked it. Some people I like didn't. it. It probably looked like shit, but yeah. be, try something different. I like okay. it. I like it. It looks okay. So, let's what's get that? back on topic with the NHL. Oh, You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did we get to that? Who knows, man. So, Vegas. It was just Vegas, yeah. Right, 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 right Vegas. Um, I think Vegas has taken this series. And I mean... Yeah, probably. And I, I don't know, man. Can you pull up the Con Smythe Trophy odds? I know Bob's because, a favorite. Yeah, because if if Florida seconds. wins, it's because of Bob. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's that. I think there's some value here. I think either there is way, as well. either way, you're gonna you're gonna swing. Bob is the favorite at plus one eighty five. Uh, second favorite, Matt Kachuk at plus three hundred. And then Jack Eichel, 375. What's the one after that? Jonathan Marshall Show? Marshall Show. Marshall Show, however you pronounce it, 600. 
So it's kind of weird to me that, well, it's not weird, but it's also kind of weird that Vegas is favored in this series. Yeah. Yeah. But the Con Smythe odds have two Florida players as their top picks. Yeah. I I get it because if you're talking about MVP of their team, like Vegas is more deep. They have a lot of good players, whereas like Bob is definitely the best player that uh, Florida has. Mm-hmm. And he's definitely well, – He's only lost one game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So he's – Definitely the MVP of his team. Yeah. So if they win, he will probably get it. Chris, do you mind looking up the last time a goalie won the Conn Smythe? I'm going to guess that it was Jonathan Quick. I assume that's I guess it's like Martin Brodeau. You don't think it's like Corey Crawford? No, I don't think it's Corey Crawford. Hmm. Let me see something else. Maybe. Do you think think it was Vasilevsky? No, no, no. What? He was no. But they had so many scores on yeah, that, that team. I don't, yeah. I, no, I guess I don't think so. They never needed the Tampa Bay Lightning. Never needed a good goaltender. They just had one. Yeah. Oh. Who said Vasilevsky? Me. Oh, All right. Twenty twenty one. Shit. Well, so it was like the, two years before ago. Before that, it was Jonathan Quick. Twenty twelve. Damn. And then. Year before that, Justin Thomas. Oh, Justin Thomas. That is first. I've read. I exit out of that. Tim Thomas. Tim Thomas. (laughs) Who the hell is Justin Thomas? That's not even a person. Sounds like a golfer. It is. I want to say Justin Thomas. Probably is a hot wife. Probably. I mean, all athletes do. Yeah. Oh, golfers do. Oh, all athletes do in general, but yeah, Mm -hmm. particularly golfers. What What do you think, Chris? Ah. I'm rooting for the Panthers. I like Bob to win the Conn Smythe just because I want the Panthers to win. And if they do win, like you said, it will be almost 100% because of him. Mm-hmm. I just I just don't know how you can say confidently Vegas all the way. I'm I, not saying you did. I'm just saying, like, if you are, like, I don't know how anybody can say that. Just because, Flo- like you said, Florida's lost one fucking game. Yeah. <laughs> I think that if – I think that this is going to be a pretty close series, honestly. It could go to seven. Um, at least I hope it does. I would. That's really what I want yeah. because I'm like I would be happy for the Panthers if they win. I could care like at the end of the day, I don't care. But I will be pissed if Vegas wins. Yeah. So, like I will be. Yeah. Like I don't want to see Vegas win, but. I don't want to see Florida win either. But I pr- prefer Florida. <clears throat> Panthers. This is my reaction for. If Florida wins, good for them. If Vegas wins, motherfucker. Yes. Like yeah. that's that's how I am. Like I like I kind of want Florida to win just for that fact, just so I don't feel like shit. Mm-hmm. Also, I do want Florida to win. Like, I don't know. I like I like that team. Yeah, I mean I like the scrappiness. It yeah. reminds me of Us. better times. You know. Pa- Panthers and seven is plus five fifty on the action twenty four seven sports book. And that is the what highest? Uh, Hold on. One, two, three. Tied for fourth with Vegas and five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Low or er, the best is it's probably Florida four zero. What? A Florida. That's the second highest. Uh, what? What? Florida four zero is Vegas, 4-0 Vegas is the and second. seven is plus four hundred. And then Vegas and six is four seventy five. Or excuse me, Panthers and six is four fifty. Vegas and six is four seventy five. Oh, these odds are wild. They, wild. These, yeah. They don't make any sense. Hmm. I mean no, yeah. I mean that is kinda wild. Because the heat to well, sweep the nuggets is like plus twenty nine hundred or something. Well, they're also like plus three hundred to win the series. Yeah. <laughs> Florida's sure. plus like one ten. Yeah, that's true. Florida to sweep is plus thirteen hundred. That would be oh, okay. insane. I mean, nobody's going to sweep. But and then Vegas to sweep is plus eleven hundred. Hmm. Hmm. That's neither of those are going to happen. Mm-hmm. I I would just hope we go seven. Honestly, 
Yeah. Yeah. I do too. It'd be really entertaining. It's just like Vegas is just so deep and like they kind of have this like goalie just that just makes the save. You know? This Aiden Hill guy. Yeah. The Who? fourth goalie. Exactly. And if and if he goes down with injury, you know who's behind him? I do not. Jonathan Quick. Oh yeah, it is. God. <laughs> You know, Con Smythe <laughs> winner, Jonathan Quick. <laughs> so, never rooting for injury, but it'd be cool to see him play. <laughs> yeah, that would be, be pretty cool. Um, but, I mean, that's basically my thoughts on this series. All right, so that's going to be it for our previews for the final series. Um, so, we're going to throw it to this new segment we got. Uh, I'm not sure really what to call it, uh, but I'm going to call it Will Finds Old Sports Articles on the Internet, and we talk about them. What are you going to do, Will? (laughs) I found this old article from 2011 from Bleacher Report about the top 30 arguments and debates in sports. Here's number 16. Is Giselle good for Tom? (laughs) (laughs) I don't think Tom's good for her. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, if, we, if we've if we learned anything, it's that... He's married to the game. Yes. Not his wife. You could argue that she was good for him. Yeah. You could. How many rings does he have without her? Well, he's got one less because he got divorced. Damn. But he doesn't have I any... Dropped. He got divorced and played the worst season of his career. Yeah, but <laughs> like his wedding ring. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, You could say Tom divorced from the game. No. I I, I feel like. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, that was bad. You could. I wouldn't, but you could. (laughs) This is from 2011. This is 12 years ago. And people actually cared about this. It was kind of wild. Then I got another one. Giselle, good for Tom. Uh, Manning, Brady, or none of the above. This is from 2011. This is 12 years ago. Patrick Mahomes was not even born yet. (laughs) Josh Allen was in his father's nuts. (laughs) Joe Burrow wasn't even a thought. (laughs) Uh, I mean, I don't... (laughs) I guess we don't really need to talk about that one. I mean, those are like the three top quarterbacks of all time. At least in like passing yards. Yeah. But like... Since 2011, how many how many Super Bowls does he have since 2011? Who, Manning? Brady. Brady, Brady that's what I meant to say. I think uh, he's got four. Yeah? Yeah, sure. I, I don't feel like researching. Yeah, probably four. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> At least three. Yeah. <laughs> and he's been – he's lost a few as well. He's lost – I mean, he's lost three, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Two to Eli, one to Nick Foles. Yeah. Since 2011? Since. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, wait, no. One of them was in, like, 2008, wasn't it? When was that? Maybe. I don't know. We can move on. We can move like, on. <laughs> Pretend like I know. Should steroid users be in the Hall of Fame? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you yes, but if you do that, you have to put Pete Rose in. Yeah. Did That's my only stip nobody gambled. That's my only stipulation. The it's like I don't give a fuck. Time. I don't give a fuck if you put it Barry Bonds in. I don't like it, but whatever. But how can you put him in above the guy who has the most hits of all time? Who all he did was bet on his team to Listen. win. Listen. Steroids made baseball much more interesting. Yeah, it Steroid saved save baseball. It saved baseball. So, like, I don't care. Yeah, sure. I'm done really arguing about that. Like, Barry, Bo- Barry Bonds is, I feel like, an outlier because he had a Hall of Fame career before he started doing steroids. Yeah. And then – It was really guys like Mark McGuire and, play, like, players like that who you're like, eh, well. But I, I was just like, yeah, sure. But put Pete in. Absolutely. Put Pete in. I just hate I mean, he's going to die soon, and then 
the year he dies, they're going to put him in, and it's going to suck. Because he won't get to see it. Well, he's banned for life, so they're just waiting on him to die to put him in. Oh. His life. Well, yeah, not everyone's life. <laughs> not for <laughs> He's not banned for eternity. <laughs> he's banned for life. His, His life. life. <laughs> Oh, his life. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Jesus. Some people okay. didn't know what that meant. <laughs> well, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, that's going to be it from the article from oh, okay. 2011. We did two of those. Well, all the others are, I don't know, still kind of sort of relevant. I mean, it, and it's just like bullshit, regular ass uh, sports debates. All right, well, that's going to be it for the, uh, the the ancient sports debates from 12 years ago. So I'm going to throw it to Chris's USFL Gambling Corner. Woo! How, how, did, how did you do last week? Two and two again. Okay. Not, not terrible. No, that's just <laughs> two, three weeks in a row I think I've gone two and two. Hey. It's fine. Nothing wrong. We'll take it. It Could just be sucks because I think. Two of those three weeks, I won my first two on Saturday and lost two mm. on Sunday. So it doesn't feel like I'm two and two. Yeah, but you know, it feels like you're two and zero, oh and then you went zero oh and two. Yes, it doesn't yeah. feel like. Yeah, but you know, we're here. We're back. <laughs> of course, <laughs> Chris's USFL gambling corner. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start out uh, Saturday. Houston Gamblers taking on the Pittsburgh Maulers. Um, I still – the Pittsburgh Maulers are trash. They just are. I bet against them last week. Uh, it worked out. Stars won. It's a little bit closer than I thought it would be. But uh going to take Gamblers minus three here. I think they womp them. These um, Gamblers are actually good. Next game we got the Philadelphia Stars and the Birmingham Stallions. Two good offenses. Um, Birmingham's been lighting it up all year. Uh, Philly has surprised – I think – Two weeks in a row scored 30 points. Don't quote me on that. But they scored 37 last week, I know. So, I'll take over 46. Uh, just let's see some points. <laughs> then we got uh, New- Memphis Showboats, New Jersey Generals. Generals started out 2-0. They have lost four straight. Coldest team in the Yikes. USFL. Or USFL. So, give me Memphis plus two. Might sprinkle some money line. Actually, screw it. Memphis money line. I think Memphis is kind of climbing too. They now. are. They lo- they they won last week because I bet against them. So they're yeah, they've won. In their... They've won two or three in a row. Um, they started out terrible. Yeah. Um, yeah, they've won a couple in a row. New Jersey, I'm convinced, is not good. So showboats money line. Screw the spread. Give me the money line. And then we got breakers minus three and a half. I'm last last time I bet on these guys. Because they just screw me every time, but ah, some about it this week. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. They are playing the uh, the Michigan Panthers. Mainly, excuse me, going back to last year, the Michigan Panthers suck, and from what I've seen from this this year, they still suck. So, breakers minus three and a half. If they lose, if they do not cover this week, they're dead to me. I will not betting on them the rest of the season until I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Until I say it's okay. So Until they play a worse team. I just pray to God we can go three – or at least go three and one this week. Yeah, and we will. I'm tired of this two and two bullshit. I think we will. We will. Yeah, why not? You know? Yeah. So have you watched some of the USFL? I watched this past week? most of the Philly – Birmingham – no, whoever – Philly, whoever the hell they played last week. Um, that was a pretty good game. I like, I like it's entertaining. It's not as entertaining as the XFL. The XFL rocked, but I, I enjoy it. I, a couple weeks ago, might have been three weeks ago now, I watched the Showboats game, and they had, a, I talked about on the show, had a 109 yard kick return or kick six return, and also learned, uh, have, you, you, have you guys seen Invincible? No. Or at least no. Invincible. Oh, is it Bruce yeah. Willis yeah, yeah, being yeah. Invincible? We talked about this it's last Mark week. Wahlberg. Oh. No, we talked about this last week. We're thinking we? of Unbreakable, by the way. Um. <laughs> Synonyms. Kind of. Um, eh. They kind of are. I thought he was invisible. Okay, Jesus. 
Uh, but Vince, pa- did we talk about yeah, we talked Vince about Papali's like, kid is yeah, on? Kid. Oh, I don't remember yeah. talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Well, it was my birthday last week. We were kind of drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that off camera? Yeah. I don't remember. I, I didn't remember. I it was wasn't last really week. off I thought it was camera. like two weeks ago, if I'm being honest, but whatever. Um, yeah. yeah USFL Vince gambling Papali's corner. kid. Yeah, it's wild. Oh, yeah. They just Invincible said, too. They just said Vinny Papal, and he had some wild touchdown. They said Vinny. I was like, "There's no way they're <laughs> not related." It, like at least like <laughs> like his nephew or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his nephew twice removed. I was like, if I was like, if you're just named after Vince Papali, that's kind of Vinny. weird. <laughs> Unless you're like his personal friend. Yeah. Why would you name your child? It's a godson. <laughs> like you're just a diehard Eagles fan. It's like, hey, this guy, he was awesome on special teams. For like two years. <laughs> <sighs> but, yeah, that's well, Chris. I think we're gonna go. I think you're gonna go three and zero on, at least. I, I think you're gonna go four and zero. Thanks. There we go. <laughs> Let's set the bar reasonable, though. Let's go yeah. three and one. <laughs> I think, yeah, like the Nuggets in six. I think it's reasonable. <laughs> yeah, it's reasonable. Someone's gonna get hot and take one from. Them, yeah. But what are you gonna it's do? It's okay. It yeah, happens. It, yeah, it had, it does happen. Have you had to have a losing week? Knock on wood. So. Yeah, that's good. I think yeah. my worst week was two one and one. Not a losing week. That's even in my book. Yeah, yeah, that's as even as you can get, I'd say. Mm-hmm. So yeah, right on USFL. Well, that's going to be it for us this week. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Link is in the bio. Uh, Chris bets baseball oh. every day. <laughs> I didn't thought you were going to make me say something. I was no. like, what? No. <laughs> no. Chris bets baseball every day. Every day. Uh, Sometimes against my better judgment. Er- yeah. Responsibly, of course. Er- I don't. I don't think I could ever get a grasp on it. Um, so, that's going to be it for us. Thank you so much. And there's three of us. Now, let's make some money. Woo! Woo! Ow!